Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly readings for the week of September 14th to the 20th, 2015. Um, this reading is for Aries. Before I start, um, I'd like to apologize for not having any videos up for last week. Um, I have been going through a lot and um, it it got so bad that it did take me away from my YouTube channel and I'm sorry for that but I'm back now things are getting better and hopefully um, I can just get back on track but thank you very much for your patience and your understanding and all your support I appreciate it okay so Aries on Monday you have the Queen of Pentacles with maturity Okay, so the Queen of Pentacles, um, first of all, this could be an earth sign that you're dealing with or an earth sign that um, is coming into your life. Earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this person is someone who's very wise, very mature, and they help you grow in some way. For a lot of you, this will be financially. They will help you grow financially or they will help you um, reach a goal that you had and that will be the maturity it will be more of a completion for you for others this is you this week um being focused on the details being very practical or this day on monday being very practical driven focused on the details and focused on long-term plans and long-term goals. And for others, this is you reaching a state of inner peace, calm, and a state where you feel ready um, for the next step in your life. Um, for some of you, this is motherhood. You feel ready for motherhood for others you feel ready for a serious relationship you feel ready for marriage you feel ready to um, move start a family take a big step basically it could be uh, something you've been thinking about for a few months or even years for some of you and now it's um, culminating now you're finally getting to um, actually feeling ready for it but you're very focused on the details and very focused on long term on Monday and you're starting something long term on Tuesday you have the wheel it's the wheel of fortune with compromise so Tuesday things start to happen for you it could be that whatever you decide to start on Monday actually starts moving on Tuesday. Things actually start moving in that direction. Um, the wheel is all about karma. Um, if you have worked on yourself and you've found a balanced place, you are now being rewarded for it. This will be unexpected gain for some of you, unexpected financial gain for some of you, for others this will be um, talks of promotion, this will be negotiations and for others this is a bit of a warning not to lose your head, uh, not to become too proud because the wheel is all about what goes up must come down and it turns for the better or for the worse for good or bad and so if you lose your head and you get cocky or too proud or entitled or that kind of attitude um the cards are advising you that it could just just as easily be taken away from you okay so try to be balanced on tuesday and if you're in that attitude of being balanced and calm um, things will start to happen for you. Things will start to bloom. Things will start to flower for you.
And this could be, again, this could be in your work, but it could be in your relationships as well. Um, it could be that maybe you've been going through some counselling and now you're starting to see the results. It's starting to pay out because you've been really working on the relationship. On Wednesday, you have sorry, the Hierophant with past lives. Now, for those of you where the wheel applies in a relationship sense and now you're starting to see the results, it could be that maybe you've been um, thinking about a divorce or thinking about leaving your partner or your spouse um, and now the therapy or the work that you've been putting in both of you is paying off and you are renewing vows, you're renewing commitments, you're giving it another chance, you are committing to keep working on it, you are learning your lessons, you're learning from the past and you are committing to move forward together and give it another, sh another, another shot or another chance. For others, this could be a person coming back from your past. This could be a Pisces I'm hearing for some of you. And they're coming in to give you some advice or some support. Or to change the direction that you're headed. But in a good way. And for others, this is you looking for advice and support on Wednesday trying to deal with past issues, trying to deal with um, some, some past demons, past difficulties that may be resurfacing and you're really looking for some help, some support, some guidance to stay on the right track. But I really do feel that even though some negative things or people may be surfacing. This is a chance for you to um, actually make a change because you are very much supported and protected through this um, transition. It's a transition because now you can make a change. Now you can eliminate that negativity from your life. You have the support to do it. You just have to believe in yourself and learn from your mistakes. On Thursday, you have the full with rebirth. Okay, so I think this ties into Wednesday for some of you, um, where you do manage to make that change and it's a brand new beginning and you feel like a brand new person. You have a new found um, confidence, new found joy, happiness, um, laughter, humor, it's like a weight is being lifted off your shoulders. And for others, it's, this is not resonating in that particular way. For others, it's just a new beginning after a, a time of either hard work or difficulties. It's a time where you have had to bear a lot and so now that time is finally over and you are moving on to a brand new path, a brand new beginning. If you are, I feel like if you're dealing with a Leo person, you are moving away from them, you're leaving them behind. Because that is what you need to do, that is what um, you feel makes you happy, what you feel is the right thing for you. Brothers, this is simply a day where you feel happy, brave, um, definitely not afraid to ch take a chance, take a risk. You feel like you have everything you need, like you are enough, I'm hearing. You feel like you're enough. And you are just putting um, hardship behind you and you're finding yourself again, you're finding um, who you were before the hard times. 
um, your laughter, your joy, rediscovering what you enjoyed to do. On Friday, you have the Three of Wands with the Lovers. So I'm hearing expansion on Friday. I'm hearing expansion and then again, and then I heard uh, pregnancy. So for some of you, this is pregnancy. You find out that you're pregnant. For others, you um, start having the talks about starting a family and it will happen very soon once you have those discussions. Um, for others, this is if you wished upon a star kind of thing you are getting your wish now if you've wished for um, a relationship a safe secure faithful balanced relationship it is coming to you now it could be with a gemini person for some of you for others this could be with a fire sign um, like yourselves and other aries um, a sagittarius or um, a Leo, sorry. So for a lot of you, this will be in your relationships. This will be you making plans for the future. So like I said, uh, making plans to start a family, making plans to move in together, making plans to buy a house together, uh, making plans for marriage. It is you looking on the horizon, you... Um, looking at everything you want to to have in your life and just believing that you will have it and so the the theme is expansion if this is not in your relationships or in your family life it's in your career the lovers card could also talk about choices could also talk about contracts commitments in that sense in the work sense um, and the Three of Wands, again, expansion, promotion, um, travel for work, increase in income, increase in responsibilities. It's just growth. You are planning for the future. And you feel very, very confident that you will get what you wish for. And then on Saturday, <clears throat> you have the Nine of Cups with new vision so for some of you um, you're getting a wish on Saturday and for others this is a new vision coming in as to what you thought your happily ever after should be so for some of you this is you getting your wish and then um, changing your your vision as per the the wish happening if that makes sense so for example if you've wished for a happy relationship you're getting that now and instead of you thinking of, of yourself now you're thinking for two and that's the new vision um it would be something that may, that touches you emotionally very strongly so for a lot of you this will be in your relationships um, this will be in your family life for others of you. This is fertility. Uh, you could be, again, finding out that you're pregnant or deciding that you want to get pregnant. You want to start a family and you start planning in that direction and that is your new vision. That is your new path. Um, for others, this is something happening, news coming in, some messages coming in, something that you hear or read on Saturday that makes you have an aha moment, a revelation and you suddenly realize that something you've been fixating upon is not really what you want anymore, it's not really what would make you happy anymore and so you change your perspective when it comes to your happiness, whatever makes you happy. But the Nine of Cups, again, it is the Wish card, it is the Yes card, so whatever you've been wishing for, especially if it's in love and relationships and families, home life, 
it is coming to you now and you are changing your life it is changing your life and on Sunday you have the five of wands with projections for some of you this is you having to fight yourself on Sunday, you having to fight your own fears, your own doubts, your own insecurities, keeping them in check. I feel like all this goodness towards the end of the week will make you feel doubtful in the sense that it's too good to be true and it's too good to last. And so once those doubts and fears start creeping in, it will be very difficult for you to get rid of them so don't even allow them in and um, don't allow doubts to hinder your happiness and your new beginnings because there's really no need for it the projections card to me um, signifies that it is in your head it's all in your head and what you are afraid of you are projecting in your life you're trying to look um, to see whatever you're afraid of um, it's the, the self-fulfilling prophecies okay so on Sunday you really need to keep yourself in check you need to remember that everything's fine yes there is a lot of change with the five in there yes there's a lot of change yes things may be a bit unstable and chaotic but that is true of any transition and this is a transition and you are headed in a beautiful direction you're headed in a direction of um, passion being driven career expanding family expanding relationships expanding so don't doubt it allow it to happen allow it to come in keep your fears in check because it's just your fears it's just in your head okay so remember that at any point during this week just remember that whatever you are thinking that's going to happen um, a negative thing that you are afraid of happening just remember that it's in your head it's a fear it will not happen you can enjoy what's coming to you now you can finally relax let your guard down and enjoy the fruit of all your hard work your spiritual advice you have changed your life so again a lot of changes before the better a sudden revelation that offers freedom break free of procrastination embrace the opportunities that change brings okay so again aha moments revelations things coming to light but in order for you to be free in order for you to move forward especially with the fool in there okay so don't be afraid of it face it allow it to come in process it don't run away from it and it will free you break free of procrastination and any false ideas you may have any preconceptions any doubts and just embrace the opportunities okay because um, you are given a lot of opportunities for happiness this week and it is just you that can get in your way okay so don't do that your love and relationship advice you have pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you now I see this happening in two ways first obviously don't be naive don't be gullible if you do meet someone new this week um, keep it balanced again your attitude needs to be a balanced one a calm one you need to pay attention don't lose your head again don't lose your head pay attention um, make sure their actions match their words don't um, just run with it okay give them a chance yes absolutely especially if this is a new person give them a chance but stay calm stay balanced so that you can see what's happening 
and if something feels off just trust your intuition okay for others this is the card is asking you to open up um, for some of you you have someone in your life who's been really really trying to get closer to you and you've been afraid and you have put this wall between you and the card is asking you to let that wall come down because you're about to lose this person because they've been really really trying they've been really trying to be close to you to understand to give you time to give you space um, and to them it seems like it's been in vain and so they may be thinking maybe it's time to just give up okay so and I, I can see that you do want to be with them you just slow down very much because you're afraid and you've got this veil around you and the card is asking you to just let it drop okay you can open up it's safe you can open up if again trust your intuition if you feel like you need to do something or say something do it say it okay so that you don't lose a wonderful opportunity okay so that is what I see for you Aries for the week of September 14th 2015 um, thank you very very much again for your patience and your support I truly truly appreciate it um, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it and how much it's helped me get back on track um, I hope you've enjoyed the reading please like share subscribe comment and let me know how the cards work for you in your life um, and I will see you next week. Okay, have a wonderful week. Take care.